Hi. What up, everybody? We're the Normies. We're here to watch the new official first time ever yes. Joker, Joker 2 trailer, uh, Folly Adu. Okay, I was gonna say, like, are you gonna, are you gonna <laughs> say, are we just gonna do Joker 2? I believe it means, like, the folly of two. Yeah. Two folly, two people that are kind of messed up, maybe, to together. Uh, the first movie was excellent, mm -hmm. and it had a specific tone to it. I know there's some banter back and forth about it not being great. Some people have like, that's the hot takes, like, ah, oh, it's, it's, it's overrated. And then people were like, it promoted violence. The amount of violence in that movie is so minuscule mm -hmm. compared to everything else. The only thing that I think might have disturbed people is how realistic maybe it could get there yeah. based yeah. on how the system fails certain people. Mm -hmm. And so you know it, we know it. Todd Howard directed, he's back. Joaquin Phoenix is back. Joaquin Lady Phoenix. Gaga is here as yes. Harley Quinn. What? That's, That's gonna, gonna be, be so weird she to watch. Quinn, yes, yeah, she's a Harley Quinn. I am, I will not stand for slander for Lady Gaga because like she actually knows, like she can act. Like have you guys seen that movie with Bradley Gaga. Cooper? Um, um, Star is Born. Star is Born. Born. I at first, like, i never seen Lady Gaga a performance. Like, oh, Oscar I'll just watch Gucci. it. And it was actually really good. Like, I cried in that movie. Like, yeah. she actually did a really good job. And her being singer and everything, like, and her seeing not in no makeup and, like, it's just a regular makeup. Like, this is a completely I'm different person. never uh, seen her in an acting role. She, she was in American Horror Story as well. I don't watch that. Oh, that, that was so like, good. Yeah, that. That so was it's funny. Movie. It's kind of a mix of American Horror Story and A Star is Born. Because Harley Quinn is, like, a... So very tragic character. Yeah. We don't know how she's going to be portrayed yeah. in this, but. Yeah, it's just so weird because we all know Harley Quinn and everything. It's going to be oh, yeah. so Watching weird movie. for me to imagine Lady Gaga. Yeah, well, yeah. we've had uh, Kaylee Cuoco in yeah. the, the, the Harley Quinn series. Y'all are watching. But I mean, the, the other had, sense uh, that we are watching uh, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Mm -hmm. So I think between Margot Robbie and Lady Gaga, I can see Lady Gaga being Harley Quinn because she can get that psycho compared to like you've I, seen American I, Horror Story I think Margot Robbie can but Margot Robbie is also like a very American hot sweetheart like a uh, like, like yeah a, like she's, 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 she's good at tissues yeah I, she was great in the whole the American Horror Story yeah. with Matt Palmer so. Margot Robbie did great but um I oh, think yeah. yeah the more psycho part of Harley Quinn will be able to come out here we're just gonna go ahead and watch these gals can't remember if they've seen the first movie. I don't know if they've seen it. So let us know if Actually, you want a reaction to it. I've seen it. Background. Background. The reason I think I background watched it because the copy I had was terrible. Uh, so it's like, I'm going to watch it because people are telling me it's a really good movie. And by end of it, like, it's just too terrible. I can't sit through it. And Rona can't remember any details at all. Never in my life. She keeps describing other Jokers. I yeah. do. <laughs> I do. I am. So, so, this will be a positive surprise. Pretty sure. I think a movie reaction to that yeah. would be Yeah, I, I would love to rewatch it because I think it's the same people have a complaint with Euphoria. It's like this one saying like it, it glorifies mental health issue that's not the case if that's the case you haven't watched the movies mm -hmm. like if you think euphoria glorifies what are they drug use having mental health is sexy i don't know i was like <laughs> oh it's good because I'm, I, I don't know what they're saying but essentially like you know saying people saying like euphoria glorifies drugs like if you think that tells you that you should be a drug user the way rue is going through mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. i don't think you've seen the show but yeah i'm All excited right. for this well let us watch <laughs> So committed to his role. Nice shot. You're gonna jump for us today. Ah, we're gonna be Arkham. Walking Phoenix. Hey, there she is. Who's love? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. Oh, beautiful. I'm nobody. Ah! I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Okay, well, that's like Gaga. Oh my god, this seems so good. Board? I mean, they might also be in Because you know heads. hardly what happened to her. What the world needs now. This is going to be good. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Yes. 
<laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. What's changed, Arthur? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. That's what that we should be point. talking about. So fucking good, man. Wow. I'm so excited for this shit. I oh, wow. you do. October oh, 4th. Oh my god. Okay. Why are they teasing us that long, though? I know. I don't Yo, like trailers coming out so early. <laughs> at least it's this year. Sometimes this shit happens like two years in advance. It makes no sense. Like, I forget. I will forget it. Yeah, that looks incredible. That does. I don't have any complaints or mm-hmm. weird thoughts about that. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. I, I, I think this movie, and I like movies that kind of like, you don't know what's real. What's not real? And I think like it's going in their head or not going like around their head. And I like if it's like that, that thought provoking. I'm like super excited. To yeah. Look at it because like I don't know what's real. Because like, like I'm not gonna spoil anything from the first movie, but there's there's things like that. Well, yeah. if you've seen it, like yeah, yeah, something yeah. like yeah, that happens, yeah. and so I wonder if he's imagining her there with him mm. it could oh, be even better even being there yeah because she's most of the time she's she's the psychiatrist and yeah. the doctor that's treating him but she falls for him so maybe they will go that route again maybe they'll go completely something different because this joker has been unlike a lot of other portrayals it's going for a far more realistic approach mm-hmm. i don't think we're going to get like that abusive angle mm-hmm. from joker at least maybe not in this movie. joker being abusive to Harley. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Where like it's more of like a Stockholm thing where she's just with him. I, mm. I, it feels like two fucked up people coming together, which is kind of good and bad because yeah. they could be bringing out the toxicity in each other. Yeah. You know, yeah. or maybe yeah. maybe they'll fix each other. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Seems like a love story, really. Yeah. I mean, Joker and Harley is technically a toxic love story. It is. Um, whichever way you put it, um, it is it is a love story, sad one, um, but yeah, I don't know. I am looking forward to it because it's just it is more of a realistic than a psychiatrist falling in love with the yeah the, their patient with the or whatever. Patient. I love her outfit right here in the red mm-hmm. with the clown face on yeah. walking up. It's so yeah. good. There was... It does feel like this is a lot of it is in his head. This is like the Joker and Harley show, all these like moments and everything. Watching the show from the audience view as well with her, like mm-hmm. and they're up on the stage. Yeah, I, feel, I don't know, man. This yeah, is maybe good. that's what life feels like when he's around her. Yeah. Like he's yeah. in, they're in this show together. It's so wild to see Joaquin Phoenix looking like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got to see the first like, one. It, he, he went skinny for the mm-hmm. first one too. And mm-hmm. like it's, it's disturbing in a way, but it's like such commitment to the role. Yeah. I love this final shot with the lipstick in the mirror. Is it they moved the red with it in a way, right? Or is it just the No, he he moved he in moved. position. Damn, yeah. that's so the good how they did there. it then. Yeah. yeah. It's really well. Took some blocking. Um there's a lot of shots of like a box or like a window frame mm-hmm. like how in the started. beginning, you know, where he's like we're seeing it's like a window into his life or you could view it as like a oh, yeah. confine confinement too. Maybe like, it's like a lot of know, box imagery in a lot of this trailer. He's watching his life then. This is yeah, all it could head. be. It could be that too. Yeah. Or, or the world or society has put him in the box, and he, they don't really fit in a box. So you kind of have to yeah. go from there. I have a question. So I know that you know Joker is a DC character, but this has nothing to do with like the DC cinematic universe. Yeah. Why in particular was this movie made in this? I'm not saying like this shouldn't have. I think Joker is a great character to be like trying to create something like this. But I'm very curious on why that. If you guys have seen interview stuff, the decision to do this very outside of DC and keeping so, that same character. So wait, DC from, has like, no rights to this at all? No, no. Mm. <laughs> I'm, wait, wait, I'm confused. This is no, DC. Not... They wouldn't be able to do this without DC's oh, sign. Oh, this yeah. is a DC okay. film. Is this not it's not in the DC them? cinematic universe. Yeah. Oh, the, okay. So the DCEU has now since been rebooted and relaunched. And yeah. It's like we've only seen Blue Beetle so far of that. James Gunn is doing his I thing. I mean, regardless. But before that, like yeah. Justice League, Ben Affleck, and uh, you know the other guy, what's his name? Henry Cavill, Superman. Mm-hmm. All that shit is gone now. 
but it was still kind of going on when this movie came out. I think they just weren't seeing good returns on their connectivity mm, with gotcha. like trying to relate things how Marvel did. No one has actually done it successfully like Marvel has. Everyone's yeah. just tried to launch one of those. So they wanted to do something standalone, which is another reason why I like this because it's not relying on setting shit up for future properties, yeah, yeah, yeah. setting up another villain, having a cameo in there just for like the oh, sake of cameo. Yeah, it's yeah. telling the story, yeah. a solid beginning and it ha- has a point to it. Yeah. That makes sense. I think that's a really good way to go do about it because like Marvel is the only one who have done like mm. the cinematic universe really well. And I think every time DC had tried to replicate like the Justice League, they like, tried to put the cameos like we may see in the future or like yeah. they may get their own standalone. But I know the other DC stuff was going along. But I, even then I knew it was not going to connect, which I think is perfectly fine. Yeah. Joker's Keep, Joker. Keeping it a separate property, kind of like the Robert Pattinson, the Batman is mm. not technically connected to all the other DC stuff. So they call it DC Elseworlds, I think. Okay. It's like their word for it. Like, it's in another universe. Okay. They're, they're never going to connect it back, but just consider it not not the universe of DC yeah. movies that we're going to be getting soon. Oh, what if one day I'm good with it. I, yeah. I'm like, I think the movie is way better off without they it. Can't yeah. And considering, like, I think in even in Marvel and DC, there are so many other universes mm-hmm. that there's no reason to connect everything because that opens up you to do so many different origin stories, like so many different other things, which is what I'm learning from young Justin and Harley Quinn. Like there's many origin stories. There's not one true one. Yeah. Um, so speaking of like just Harley Quinn herself, I'm sure you guys have talked about this in um, her. her show, by the way, we do reactions to the yes. Harley Quinn animated series. Check that out. And Young Justice. And Young Justice. Um, she was a character that was never in the original comics. She was created oh. for the original Batman show, cartoon oh, wow. show that came out that a lot of us watched in the 90s. So she was created specifically for that show, but she was such an iconic character that it almost seems like she's always been in the comics. Mm. But like, but Joker like was in DC. Joker so, was always in the comics. So was it like the Har- like Quinn, Dr. Quinn was just there and then somehow there was Harley Quinn and they connected the story with her being psychiatrist Joker or that's something also they the animated They just added shows? added the whole character oh. from the animated show. Like, oh there's Joker. Right, let's cool. have her have a side let's have him have a sidekick. Call yeah. her Har- Harley Quinn and like she's in that goofy red yeah. outfit that you see her in the pilot. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean Harley Quinn, she she's a great character. I had no yeah. idea because I love her. I love her in her Harley Quinn show. We, yeah, yeah, two of us in that and one. So. I heard this is going to be like a different kind of musical. Like it's not going to be the type of musical that has dance numbers and stuff. Yeah. It's just going to kind of like a Star is Born, I guess. Yeah. Where they just kind of like start singing. The storyline like, with the singing. Yeah. I think Bollywood movies are doing that now too. Like the song yeah. going on and that's actually storyline happening that you yeah. can't skip. Mm-hmm. So less like choreographed like big dance numbers. It's there might be some musical. Of that. No, no. no. <laughs> I've actually never seen those. Either. Oh, you never seen he, High School Musical? Uh, he's not part of the podcast not, club. Not bad, actually. Yeah. Uh, the third one wasn't bad. <laughs> I never saw the third one. I only saw the first two. Well, I'm excited. Uh, I hope I hope they don't slander this. It seems like they're already slandered. They're making fun of Lady Gaga or some shit. Like what? Stop She's gonna be incredible in this. I feel like this is gonna be like another movie of the year. They're all just being mean. They're being mean I to mean, Lady Gaga. They're being mean to the new Amy Winehouse actress. They're being mean to a lot of people. Really? Oh yeah. Is Gaga, Gaga doing Amy no, Winehouse? No, no, somebody else. Okay. They're saying that Lady Gaga should have. They're giving it, Gaga. I could, I could that's what that, I thought. That, yeah. yeah, I thought it was like Lady Gaga doing Amy no, Winehouse. A lot of like, people said totally you should have done Gaga. So. That's sad. I mean, it's not get Gaga's first role. So like, if she was that terrible with other stuff she had done, yeah. she would not, not have this cast like this. Yeah. Like, she has done other roles that, like, she has range. And, I mean, her music videos are insane. So, like, she is kind of acting in those music videos. And we she have seen her yeah. perform other stuff. She is iconic ever yeah. since she, and even before, probably, the meat dress. Okay? Yes. Yeah. And She's let's so and give it, it a chance before yeah. we destroy yeah. it. Yeah. All right. I'm excited. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Bye.